What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Near Automata. It's time to take on the tower. I'm excited for this. This is, uh, I'm assuming this is going to be really cool. I guess we get, we'll get like a two-parter to this kind of thing. Like, oh gosh. This thing. We all remember when 2B's final moment, moment struggling to get out of this pit. <laughs> uh, that was a sad... I mean, it's not easy to get out of here. Why? All right, around the front. Hello, and thank you for choosing Tower Systems Services. Tower Subunit Access Granted. Tower Subunit Access Granted. Are we in? Are we in there? Right, I think we're in. Are we good? No, we're not. What what am I doing wrong? Oh, we gotta hack it now. What on earth is this dude? This is a hack unlike none I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Okay. One down. Can I just go to the end? That's my question. That looks like it. Alright. Two done. Alright, sorry. I had to turn my volume down a little bit. It's like blasting. Alright. We go three for three hacked. Congratulations, you've unlocked all of the subunits. Hello, and thank you for using Tower System Services. We apologize for the alert. Enemy caution level rising. Cause is most likely concern over Unit 9S gaining access to Tower. Out of my way! Really, get blasted off the face of the planet. Come here, boys. There we go. Swing around. Destroy. Beautiful. You damaged everything else? I can't they won't see. Stop coming. What's happening? Alert. Allied signal detected. Allies? Wait, you? 9S? We've been expecting you. <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. You need to open the door to the tower. Tevola? What are you doing here? So... Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense! Hold on, I need, I need... I need the... I need the loot. <sighs> oh, come on, man. I gotta sit here and click Y. You just focus on hacking. I'm literally just tapping one. What is this? Hold on, can I can I loot for a second? Like, oh, I can't loot. I can't loot. No looting. Okay, I, I get I get you game. No looting. 
Get your stuff done. Okay. Okay. I got you, game. I'll sit here and hack. I'll be a good little, good little android. What is this, dude? Who designed this? They just tempt you, you with all the... Hack the tower lock open. Well, I'm working on it. Oh, there we go. You can hold Y. We're halfway there. Dude, these two are badass. Look at them. They're just absolutely wrecking everything. Three-fourths of the way to completion. These two are wrecking absolute house. Okay, when I when I complete this, I'm gonna try to dash out and grab a little loot. Oh, nope, never mind. So what happens if I when if and when I fail this? Oh boy. Okay. Destroy that one. Destroy that one. Alright, let's quickly rotate around. Ow. 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 Okay, so you want to destroy it from this angle. No, maybe not. Okay. Boom. And he- Oh, we're not done yet. Um. Um. What's this barrier? Analysis. It is part of a closed defensive system. Well, how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Unit 9S could permit his subconsciousness data to lose control. The resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. That's almost as bad as not going in at all! Alright, 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 alright. We're in. We're into the tower. Alright, we're... Oh. Data records discovered for units Devila and Papala. Do you wish to open this data now? I'm assuming it's going to tell me they died. They died, didn't they? Why are we in the desert? A dusty wind kisses my cheek. Buried in the sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go after all. Because our models, the Devila and Papala models, are defective. Record transmissions in the project's initial phase. When first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotion, souls, and they infused us a single order. Function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Devila and Papala models. It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model... Though many companions shared our appearance, there was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future, and yes, there was anxiety as well. And But we existed as a pair, we shared destiny's burden as a pair, and because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities, as observation areas, we were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah, watch out! Devila staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? 
Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles the same way, the same wry smile I know she so well. As she rubs absently at, absently at her leg, it is, it is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Papala. Come on, we have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if sand gets in that into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devil the grunt, grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial sand, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devil's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I check the circuitry to see if it can be repaired, replace the bandage, and hope for the best. Did my game... For okay, my... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's asking me to choose one. Check the circuitry, see if it can be repaired. Let's do that. As expected, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools, none of which is easy to find in the desert. Sorry about this, sis, mother's devil. Uh, that wry smile again, it kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You've done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sis. Okay, now you're apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way. Such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cold evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it load for a second. <laughs> Devilish. It wouldn't let me click A for some. Devilish sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. Pfft. They wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless, annoyed at my heavy hesitation, Devil crosses crosses her legs and scowls. The black scrawl took over another victim. She says that's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump a little, but enough for her to notice seeing that her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... I thought it was loading more than... It. When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride, but now my chest hurts just to think about it if it were to fail. But we knew it. The replicants had gained a sense of self, and the black scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast, so fast, like a wind. Papula and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. I lost my place. Uh, but at night, we just hold each other and share the horror of it all. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Papula. I couldn't have handled being an observer alone. We were able to endure because we had each other, I reply softly. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I wouldn't have descended. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all alone. Whew. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if we're no one, no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Davola and Popula models from another town. I mean, this is a lot of reading. Game, you can only you can only have me read so much, <laughs> so much. The wind rubs my cheek, the sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devila loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm and she, so she won't fall again, and we press on. Is your leg all right? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. 
She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left, and yet she continues to smile. Also, I won't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it, but then she smiled, and all that rage just drifted away. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. <sighs> Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed, all due to the actions of Devola and Popula models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. And though success was as unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids beholden to that same instinct began to direct hate their hate at the Devola and Popula models who had snuffed out humanity. It started small, a few offhand remarks, the occasional glance, but even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. Oh my gosh. How much reading. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it, we took the resentment, and scorn, we endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution, but in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister Devola met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts, something quiet, and thought her words were ambi ambiguous. He slashed her leg nearly in two. My vision narrowed, everything went red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis, there's nothing we can do. But it was too late, my emotions were no longer in control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devil and I left the town left town that same day. Violence like that would st wouldn't stop. It's going to happen again, and it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. Five years later, we lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, <sighs> stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because even this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. We must. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same models as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part at least a little. Anyway, but at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are. And that Davila and Popula were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Davila being hurt. I wanted to shout it at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Davila. Okay, I gotta take a drink. And for her, there's only one me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky, it stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devola? I'm alright, as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try to retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devola's leg. And yet I wonder if there's anywhere on the planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It latches at us without pause. Whew, is this our punishment? I reach out and... Okay, let's touch your cheek. Oh boy, this is a lot of reading. The rain flows down her cheek like tears. I reach over and gently wipe it away. She smiles but seems surprised. There's no point in doing that, you know, she whispers, but there is, because I swore to myself that I would stay with her forever. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. Please tell me that's the end. Oh my gosh. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation, decimation of the human race. Due to the discovery of this instance, its instability, the twin system was removed from future android production designs. Following the incident, 
The devil and popular models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were pre-programmed to regenerate constant feelings of guilt. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could I... have escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Okay. Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance at all? All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks. I'm, I don't I'm, care. Thanks for sharing. I just have to kill them all. Okay. I felt like I just read for a, a decade. So... <laughs> Don't, don't mind me if I'm a little quiet. Corrupted oh. your units. What if I just run? What if I just outsmart you guys and run by? I'd rather actually stack them up yeah. than fight them two at a time. Tower system services. We're so pleased you've chosen to visit the tower today. Don't forget about the special prize for the guest who unlocks the last subunit in the room Off just the ahead. Door. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Two B models. <laughs> it's about time to rest in pepperoni. <laughs> Homie, I'm gonna need you to get a hold of yourself. To see you here. I truly am. Every last one of you! Okay. Oh, okay. You gotta be kidding me. Hold on, hold on. I got. I gotta get distance. You gotta give me... Oh my gosh. You gotta give me distance here. Okay, okay, okay. Dodge through. Dodge through. Dodge through. Dodge through and blast them all. Okay, we can win this fight. I can win this fight. It's, it's not absurd. Scene. I can do it. I can do it. I can win this fight. Okay. Okay. We got to get close enough to blast it. Hit it. Hit it, please. I got to hit it. Now. There we go. Okay. We're getting. We're getting stunned. A little here. I'm getting stun locked. Okay, blast him. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to hack. I think it's too hard to do it not hacking. Destroy it, thank you. Oh crap. Alright, gotta circle around. Circle around. Okay. There we go. Ooh. To me. To me! Alright, gotta keep calm. Can't panic at all here. Or I will or I will die. Gotta stay calm. Keep my shot crispy. That will be will be all good. That's a large blast. Okay. What's happening? Blast that line. Get a hack. Get a hack. Thank you. Okay. Got tagged. Got tagged. And it got killed. Okay. 
Give me a hack, game. Give me a hack. Give me a hack. Okay. Okay. Whew. Blow up. There's not that many left. Let's get the hack off. I don't really think I needed to hack this one, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, I'm one hit away. I'm one hit away from failure. One more to go. Well, 45. Alert. Enemies detected. Still a few stragglers, huh? known as the tower has opened its gate let's check it out oh it's time for her to go to the tower now we're all meeting up at the tower Where's the entrance? Oh, they're uh, dead. A2, right. We went ahead and opened the tower. 9S is already inside. I see. I thought I could put them out of their misery. Say, did we... Did we manage to help? You did. Uh, we nine. Okay, I already saw that dialogue. I see. So this is an elevator up. Now the question is, does the game remember that I didn't fight those guys as 9S? We're about to find out. Um, no, because they're gone. This is so your just... corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of your high unit 9S's advance through the area. Let's go. What's the purpose of this structure? Unknown. Proposal. Gather additional data. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. We didn't come this far as 9S, so he proceeded without us. Very interesting. Pyrite. Here we go. This looks like final door type stuff here. What's up with this place? 
Hypothesis. It is a representation of a library. What's that? A library is a data storage facility constructed by past human civilizations. Hmm. Can't open that door. I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data, yeah? Help me out, Pod. Affirmative. Hacking interface access rights granted to Yorha Unit A2. Peachy. Well, this is different. The heck are you supposed to go here? I'm clearly blind because I don't see where to go. Oh, you gotta go all the way around this thing. I'm taking the straight long route. Uh, these are just library codexes. I don't really think I need these. This tower I... looks like a data gathering system for the machines. Is there something here? Or am I just supposed to read literally all of that stuff? That stuff just- it doesn't look like it's important, though. It just looks like random crap. So these are character models. For all the Goliath-class enemies. And then all the characters within the game. Okay, I guess we'll do these, because I don't know anything else to do here. Looks like this is going to be a longer episode. What am I supposed to do here? I really don't get what I'm supposed to do here. I guess I'll just try to destroy everything. I don't really know. Unless we're supposed to just destroy these. Yeah, there we go. All the solo boxes. Yeah, these are just humorous, human, humor, human storage or server records. These records are from the human server on the moon. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? I'm assuming we gotta destroy the big ones this time. Right, there's another one down. Patient Yana. This is a this is for a real person. Health record for a real human. Some records on old humans. Damn it, this is useless. There's too many of them. Huh? Operational summary of model number two in Project Yorha. So I guess I did have to read everything. This data. Ah! 
Alert. Virus detected in locomotion region. High probability that infection source is transplanted parts from corrupted units. Proposal. Hack into self and eliminate virus. On it. Well, this is cool. go hack that virus eliminated 95% of functionality restored <laughs> quick little 500 gill on the ground there Go hack into him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh buddy. Oh, I can still do it. Oh my gosh, I clutched that up. There we go. Now we're kind of committed to this episode being just long. Like, there's not much I can do about it. It's just gonna be long. There we go. Clean it up. There we go. We'll combine the library and the tower into one episode. I actually want to kite these things. So everybody come here. Everybody get kited. Alright, now I'm gonna blast you into oblivion. Everybody get kited over here again. Now we'll hack. I have I have strategies. there. There's gotta be like one major goliath level enemy at the end of this. This has been relatively light work. That was it, really? Top secret, Yorha Disposal. 
This is Project Yorha. That means all of us. To be... Now you know everything. Do you still wish to fight? We are conceptual human personalities created within the machine network. We cannot be destroyed. Your unit 9S. Your attack is meaningless. Your existence is meaningless. Shut up! Keep them coming. I'll destroy them all. All of them. And this tower! You gotta be kidding me. I just gotta fight these things? I'm not built to fight. They're in suits! I swear if I die and I have to go back to like 5 million checkpoints ago, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna hack these things like three times. This has turned into a sweat fest because I can't save. <laughs> oh, it's got nightmare terrible. Get out of here. Stop it. Oh, oh, you guys just lined up for the triple blast. Thanks. Okay, start the hacking. Up. Oh. Thank you. Hack them again. There we go. Whew. That's two more down. This is impossible, dude. There's so many of them, like, this is kind of ridiculous. How am I supposed to fight this, dude? I can't hack them fast enough. I can't get the double hack off in time. This is flat out ridiculous. Almost got destroyed there, that would have been tragic. Oh boy. Okay, I did it. I feel medium impressed. Oh, okay, I gotta walk forward. What are we doing here? Well, I'm getting in. <laughs> Oh, we're fighting this thing. Who are they? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this thing is OP. What is this? I'm trapped inside. I don't think this was supposed to happen, but, you know. Good stuff. I'm in. This is going to take a decade to kill this thing. Oh, because you're not supposed to kill it. Okay. Alright, we're cr we're at cruising altitude of 45 minutes. Oh, here we go. Damn it! Alert. Enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. No, we don't retreat. What are we fighting? Who are you? Good to see you again, number two. Or should we call you a two now? This does bring back memories. Though the concepts like us, time has to live. What if I just don't shoot him? Still, when we wiped out your forces, it made quite the impression on us. You're on attacker model number two. An experimental disposable group created as a test gun for Project Yorha. Shut up! Oh, 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 they're actually here to fight me now. An infinite supply of them is here to fight me. Oh my gosh. Back off, everybody back off. I should get heals off of killing them. You're an obstinate little android, aren't you? Didn't we say that you can't kill us? God damn it! You can't blame an android for trying though. I mean, I'm going hard. <laughs> so is this really endless? Like, what is this? I feel like this is endless. They just keep spawning. Like, I'll go up here. We'll see if more spawn down there. Go back down there in just a second. Alright, are more respawned? Okay, maybe it's not in this. Looks like we might have reached the cap. Proposal. What now? Utilize the enemy's logical learning function to formulate a weakness. I don't know what that means! This pod has serious concerns about Unit A2's cognitive abilities. Shut up and explain it already! Sense strategy would interrupt the enemy's logic circuits, causing a computational delay. Meaning what? Do not destroy the enemy. Huh? Striking at the logic circuit requires a certain number of enemies to remain extant for a certain period of time. Oh, what the hell? Alright, let's try it. So just simply run around in a circle. Let's try it. Come on, game. You gotta spawn them a little quicker than this. Consciousness data saturation rate thirty percent. Only thirty percent. Just run in a circle. Saturation rate sixty percent. The androids the human race left behind Ooh. acted as if they wanted to be human. The machine life forms the aliens left behind acted as if they wanted to be human. We resemble each other so, but we are networked and thus we are superior to you. Hypothesis. The enemy's defensive system is prompting an evolution of its logic. Foolish androids. Why do you 
of six. All things end with accepting death, do they not? So what am I supposed to be doing here? Uh, what's happening? Oh my gosh. Consciousness data saturation rate, 90%. Why are there giant little girls spawning? We are one, and yet we are many. We are finite, and yet we are infinite. We are the embodiment of the perfect being. Hypothesis. The enemy has become aware of the diversity of life. Ah, uh, I see it. The light. We move on. Forward. To the future. Consciousness data saturation rate, 100%. Hypothesis. The enemy's consciousness has begun to fracture. Beautiful. We need more evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. My chair is squeaky. It must be destroyed immediately. Today it isn't. For particular. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Do you truly think you can win? <laughs> what the? Analysis. The saturated consciousnesses are now in conflict with each other. <laughs> They're acting like humans. I guess I can help someone win. Keep fighting each other. Kill the last one here. Hey! Don't smack me. Okay, that was weird. Oh, this is a pretty cool boss fight. If it oh, it doesn't keep is the same health. Is this thing health. seriously still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? We are. There we go. Do I have to fight this whole entire thing? Whew. It's gonna be a lot of X mashing. I 
I feel like destroying that thing should do damage to the main. What? I got clapped by that? Well, this game did the impossible. Um, I've been holding down the right bumper so much. Hold on, I gotta pause it and look at it real quick. Hold on. It looks like my right bumper on this controller, yeah, it's loose. It still works, like I can pop it back in, but it's loose. <gasps> I, and I think it's from this game. Because you hold down the right bumper so much. Game broke my right, my right bumper. I have to get a new controller. I've needed a new controller anyway for a while, so I don't really care. It's not that big a deal, but yeah, I'm gonna need a new controller. I mean, as long as I don't like get too fidgety with it, it's fine. But I wish this thing would share. <laughs> I wish the health carried over. That would have been a really cool boss fight. Become a god. Become a god. Become a god. Has become. Oh boy. Well, I hit what I could. Leveled up to 46. The tower, this whole thing is a really long episode. I will force a stop to the episode at like an hour and a half. <laughs> That's my limit on an episode. <laughs> oh, machine core, gotta grab that. Give me my health back, there you go. Oh boy. It's getting dicey up in here. Enemies, they never end. Circle around. Circle around. Come on, man, circle around. There we go. Blast them. Got him into a corner. That worked out perfectly. So we destroy you too. 
This is kind of epic, but this is a What's lot of this junk? speculation. It is a resource of some kind. Used to make what? Unknown. That enemy just missed landing. Alright, all right, dodge out. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, we gotta kill these side things first. Oh crap. What damage I can get done. Oh, I can hack it. Oh my gosh, I can hack it. I totally did not even notice that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that's a really hard hack. Get it, please. Thank you. Oh, it's back with the vengeance. What's it doing? What is happening, dude? Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. This thing is so hard to fight on foot. Now we're sharing health between fights. This is cool. Health is running low. We only got 34 left. I mean, if you're just gonna let me sit here and blast your little arms over there, I'll go for it. That damage in. This is gonna be one long episode. Oh, I couldn't avoid the damage.
Smoking him now. Ooh. Talk too soon. Is he can only damage him in the front and the back? There we go. Oh, it's running like a coward. That attack does so much damage. I see, run like a coward. This is really cool. This is a fantastic little mission. Not a little mission, this is... Heal. Alright, we're gonna kill it. Maybe next time I can do that blast, we'll be able to kill it. Lagging behind a little bit here because we don't have the we don't have the damage output potential. All right, we're getting some nice damage in there. It should pretty much be dead, right? Are we just waiting on me to kill it here? So it's gonna be a hot minute. Yeah, it doesn't even have a health anymore, so I'm just trying to survive here. And it goes into hiding again. Pull off an arm. Pull off another arm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting this out, I guess. And we've hit a standstill. Oh crap. Oh. We've hit the long, the long stalemate. Here we go.
Koshi and Roshi. Well, this is slightly terrifying. Okay, 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 hold up. I mean, I guess I can... If I truly wanted to, I could just cheese him with the gun. Charge him up. Blast him. Two, or I'm 9S now. Can I not hack these idiots? Oh, you can hack these idiots. Okay. We get the epic music for this. There we go. I gotta, I gotta take advantage of the hacks while I got them. just because they deal so freaking much damage. Ooh, we might be in trouble here. No, I think we're good as long as I circle efficiently. Yep. As long as you circle efficiently there. Okay, we're back is A2. Ow. Down to 24. Gotta be medium careful. Alright, hold on. Oh, my forehead itches. Give me one second. There we go. Okay, okay. Off, game? Oh my gosh, what? I will close this game and never play it again. Close this game and never play it again if it makes me go back an hour and 15 minutes. I'm done. It'd be closed. It'd be a done deal. <laughs> closed up, never playing it again type deal. Okay, that's not a good idea, trying to hit them while they're doing that stupid stuff. Use a heal. I have no idea what these idiots are doing. Oh, they were shooting rockets. That one is just weird. It's not really that hard, it's just a weird pack. Get the heck. Oh, hurry up. Catch the corner. The last two. Sneak in between the gap. Okay. This one's going a lot better. Blast them.
Okay, get the hack off, please. Alright, this one's not bad as long as you kind of use the cover to your advantage. Ah! Got clipped. Whew. Try to get another hack off here. Yeah. Oh, we died last time. Okay, hack him. I don't know what type of damage we're gonna be taking getting out of this, but we got the hack off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander, me, to be. Sacrificial lambs, all of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we- Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. To uh, be hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. The official designation? is 2E, number two type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153! And... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Alright, duel to the death. Oh, 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 we're picking A2. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Whoa, Ninas. Back it up, buddy. Oh, you're gonna get smoked in the next year, my man. Oh, now you're getting blasted. Come here. Come here, big boy. Oh, you landed? What? Oh my gosh, he can force hacks? Oh, can we clutch it? Oh, we clutched it. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm the superior fighter, homie. Oh, we're going hacked to get. Oh, come on, man. You got unlucky. Luck of the draw for him just didn't pay out. That first one was kind of hard. This one I've done five million times. I feel like I know it so oh, so well. Okay, gotta make sure my B button is or my RB is. Oh, come on, dude. Smoke Ninas. I will put you out of your misery, homie. Come here. I don't know why I put my voice super deep right there, but I did. Oh, we're hacked again. Oh, this one's not bad. Oh, maybe this 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 one's not easy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Blast him. Oh, Function. I know this episode's like enormously long, but this is pretty badass. Pod, we're going to repair 9S's logic circuits. Acknowledged. Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, Pod. You know that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Huge fail on my part. They do put some platforms in here if you were a speedrunner. I wonder if there are any good speedruns of this game. I'd be interested. Maybe I'll check that out tonight after I'm done recording. Oh my gosh. Whew. There's some speedrun routes in these. <laughs> Not that this is like huge time saves or anything that they needed to add, but man, there are some... I don't think they added them for speedrunners' sake. Let me put that out there, but I'm just saying. I'm happy it doesn't let you just run off the edge. This right bumper thing has kind of become a little bit of an issue. It's pretty weird. It's gonna take nine decades to upload to YouTube. We're gonna have a two hour video. It's too late to go back now. We can, uh. I'll take care of everything. Pod, take care of 9S. What of you, A2? I've still got something I need to do. You go ahead. Acknowledge. I'm sorry. I 
I never quite realized how beautiful this world is. I'm coming, everyone. I'm coming. Ending C. So supposedly, after the credits here, we got another ending. So we'll sit here and we'll talk. I was going to say I'm going to lean back in my chair, but I really can't because then I can't talk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed this game. We'll still have one more episode. I'm going to figure out where you can buy those achievements and uh, we'll, we'll do that. But, uh, this has been some pretty good fun. Pretty good fun this was. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, it got a little tedious at certain parts, like the limping A2 or 2B phase, the dialogue in this early part of this episode. Whew. There was some interest, there was some long parts, but uh, overall it was really good. Um, having to unlock the three doors kind of thing, that was kind of tedious, but overall the game was really nice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, obviously I think there were a couple of things they could have done to uh, to make it a little bit better, but overall, overall I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, don't have any complaints or anything like that. Uh, pretty good game. I can't say that it's it, it's like a top five game of mine all time or anything like that, but I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I hope I hope I can buy a, a decent chunk of the achievements. I definitely um, what am I trying to say I definitely will uh, if I ever play this again start from the beginning. So I don't really care about the achievements. Or, oh, what am I trying to say? I don't really care about my uh, my money or anything like that, or my gear. That's not really a big deal to me. So we're just gonna we're just gonna sell everything and then buy what we need. This is some decent music going on right here. no idea how long these after credits are. I'm gonna look it up right now. I think it's, uh, let's see here. Near Automata Ending D. Endings Guide. Ending D. During your third playthrough, choose 9S. Oh. Load up the playthrough, the game a third time. You can quickly acquire this ending by opening chapter select and choosing chapter 1709. During your third playthrough, okay, so is it ending E? I don't think I actually have to... I don't think I have to listen to or watch the credits. Okay, let's skip the credits. Yeah, we didn't even have to watch the credits. Okay, that's why I thought... Okay. Achieve A2's ending. So we'll get 2B's ending, supposedly. I don't know if we have to do the boss fight or something like that, but...
So that that's uh, that's our sword. That's really cool. Chapter select can now be accessed. The debug menu can now be accessed. Activating the D will disable all save functionality until you okay. You can now use the debug room. Obtained items heavy armor A, B, camouflage goggles, A2 wig. Archive obtained. The strange resistance woman has a new topic to talk about. Talk to her at the resistance camp to find out what it is. Yes, we definitely want to save. I'm going to save here. Is there anything else, or are we heading back to the main menu? I don't know. We're just we just got a black screen. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're back to the main menu. All right, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. We'll come back with one more episode, and then that'll be the end of the series of Nier Automata. I know this was an extremely long episode, uh, but I hope you guys made it through it with me. Um, I don't know. Leave a comment. Say something uh, if you made it to the end. I don't know. Comment. Let's see. God of War, because I think that's what we're going to be doing next. So comment God of War if you made it all the way to the end here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.